Hello children, how are you all? I greet you a warm welcome to our 8th standard first language English. Yes children, due to pandemic, we all are confined in our houses, is it not? So, don't be panic, we have come with the lessons. So, we will come to now the classroom interactions with the lesson part pros first lesson. So, let me welcome you all once again with a warm smile. Okay. So, you can you remember this picture? Can you remember? Yes, this is from Kurukshetra war. Yes, and see this picture there. Who is there? Maybe you know this person. See, who is this? is Bhima and this person is Duryodhana and see here what is this weapon name? What is the weapon called? The name of the weapon is what? See there. See yes. This is mace. Okay. And you see here this is a simple weapon which is reinforced with a heavy wooden and metal shaft. Okay. And next what you see here? This head made of stones. And what else it is made of? Copper, iron, steel and bronze. And the lastly, this weapon was used for traditional warfare. Okay. This was used for traditional warfare. Now children, let us see now how it is used. Okay. See, it is used as a symbols of authority. Okay. Now, here it is used as emblems, emblems in government bodies, universities, academic and in a parliamentary or it can be in a civic rituals. Okay. This is the present time use. Next move on to see there what is mace? So, let me ask you what is mace? It is a weapon. Yes, it not? Now, what are the features of this mace? So, what are the features? The head made of stones, copper, browns, iron and steel. Okay. And lastly, what are the uses of the mace now? It is used as a symbol of authority and it is used as emblems in the government bodies, universities, academic or in parliamentary or civic rituals. Okay. Understood? Now, before going to this, I ask you to raise, show me your fingers. Okay. You have your fingers now? See, see, when I ask you to raise one finger, what you have to do with that is, you have to raise one finger and start beating. Okay, you have to start beating like this. Okay, when I show this two fingers, you have to start with the two, two fingers. Okay, as I show this, you have to go with the increasing of your fingers. Let me see. So, first one is over, second one and third one. And now fourth and now fifth one and finally yes you started to clap is it not and now you see you end up in means it all ended in raining the sound ended in raining yes children when it rains what happens what do you need what do you search for you look for a, an umbrella. Yes. Now you see, even children, they look for umbrella because they need to be protective from the rain. Here is likewise a similar way. There is an umbrella that is called parasol. Okay, parasol. Parasol is a light umbrella used to give shade from the sun. Parasol is what? A light umbrella used to give shade from the sun. 
Next, now we will move on to in detail with the parasol where it is used. See, it is used as a protective device against intensive sunlight. Okay, we will move on to next point. See, why it is used? Why it is used? See there, we can avoid the sunstroke and the disorders of the heat by using the parasol. Okay, next, here. What you can see there, you can see the steps running from here to the sky. As for my assumption, what I believe is, I am reaching to the skies, is it not? But we believe that up, what is there? Heaven, is it not? See, there is a, an umbrella from heaven coming. So, it is a heavenly parasol. What is that? Your first lesson. See, heavenly parasol, it has come. Now, we are coming into our lesson now, first lesson. So, please children, take your textbooks out. It is page number 1 and we are reading with the lesson. And as I read, please try to read silently in your houses, so that you come along with my reading. There was once a beautiful princess in the town of Prajyotisha called Amrita Prabha. Among them was Megavahana, the great grandson of a former king of Kashmir. When she came of the age, king held a Swayamvara to enable her to choose a husband. Many illustrious suitors, lured by tales of Amrita Prabha's beauty, assembled there. Amrita Prabha shyly cast her eyes over the court and wondered whom she would choose. To make Vahana's surprise, the princess stopped before him and put the garland around his neck. He rose to his feet, unable to contain his joy. The couple moved forward to seek the king's blessings. As the king stepped down from his throne, the priest cried out in surprise, Your honor, the parasol of Varuna has cast its shadow over the prince. It is true, exclaimed the king. My son, you are favored by the gods. Megavahana looked up in surprise, wondering at the meaning of these words. At once he saw by his side a beautiful, dazzling white parasol with exquisite decorations that was casting its shadow over them. This is the parasol of Varuna, the lord of the seas, explained the king. It casts its shadow on none else but a sovereign of the world world. You are destined by glory and brilliance. Dazed by these portents and by his good fortune, Megavahana brought his bride and the divine parasol back home. Upon his return, the ministers of the Kashmir court sought him out and offered the throne to him. We are dissatisfied with our present ruler, they said. He has devoted himself to a life of prayer and the affairs of the kingdom lie neglected. The people suffer because of this. Your noble character and bravery are well known in these parts. Honor us and the land by accepting our offer. Megavahana became the king of Kashmir. Soon he proclaimed a law against the killing of living beings. It became his ambition to conquer other kingdoms to impose this law on them as well. Once, while on an expedition near the sea, the king told his very army to rest in the shade of some palm groves. I must use this time to plan a way to conquer the island of Lanka, he thought. It is the land of demon and need to be taught the ways of peace. But how will I cross the great seas with my army? All of a sudden, 
there was a cry in the air. It seemed to come from the wood by the shore, not far from where the royal horses were tethered. The cry came again and the king heard the plaintive call. Even under Megawana's rule, I have been slain. In his agitation, the king did not wait to summon his officers but ran towards the wood. Plunging through the undergrowth, he fought his way till, the, till he came to a clearing. There before him was a temple of Chandika, means Durga, with some sort of human sacrifice in progress on the steps. A man lay on the ground, his arms raised for mercy and a menacing looking barbarian stood over him brandishing his sword. So children, this was the lesson we are going through now. Okay now, let us have an experiment with the new words. Okay, see the first word is lure. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Attract or invite. So, you are attracted or invited. Now, you can see a boy there. What the boy is doing? See there? What is that? It is very attractive. What is that? Butterfly. So, the boy lured towards the butterfly. Is it not? Next, we will move on to the meanings of that. See there? The bird has come with. The other meanings of the lure are, what are those? Tempt entice, induce, allure and captivate. So, these are the synonyms of this lure. So, exquisite is another word there, extremely beautiful and delicate. See there the picture? The picture is what? It is in like wonderland, is it not? I have the most exquisite time in my dreams. So, next word is cast spread act of throwing something see there children what is this a pretty dog is it not see the dog's presence made my eyes to cast on it so whoever maybe it will be they will be attracted towards that now next word is sovereign person holding highest power maybe monarch or dictator now we see who is this this is the person who is well known in the world, Hitler. Hitler was the symbol of sovereign power of Germany. Next, now we want to next word, dazed, confused, surprised and bewildered. See there, the child, see the sentence, I was left dazed and confused. I was left dazed and confused. Next word, potent. A sign of warning of an unpleasant future event. Okay. Now we see this is what? This is the picture of a sparrow. Have you seen sparrows now? We are missing in cities. See many birds are regarded as being portents of death. So portent of death. Now impose. So for someone try to make somebody to accept see there what you are imposed of now so for the time being the decision of the wearing mask was imposed on people to save their lives is it not we all have to wear mask now let's move on to another word expedition a journey or a voyage with a particular aim now we see there the ants what they are doing? You have started. An expedition was organized to the jungle by the ants. Is it not? Now, we will move on to next word, wood. Wood refers to small forest. Now, see the small forest there. There is a thick wood followed by a hill. See, you have done a good job. You have understood, I suppose. Now, we will move on to the main characters main characters of this lesson. Who were they? First we saw the first person Amrita Prabha. Who is she? The most beautiful princess of Prajyotisha. 
and the king held swayamvara to enable her to choose her husband is it not the speciality of swayamvara was the princess she was the most beautiful princess now we'll move on to another character who's that another character megavahana see he, who was megavahana the great grandson of former king of kashmir and why is special character there he was a blessed to receive the parasol of varuna from heaven when he was accepted in the swayamvara is it not now let's move on to the continued part of this lesson and comprehend what is that we will see the swayamvara the main points of this prose what we see the swayamvara was a speciality it was the l to choose a prince is it not amrita prabha's selection of megavahana and megavahana was surprised for the selection many many might be there but he was the one to be selected we will move on to the next point the parasol the speciality of this lesson is the parasol from heaven not from here from heaven megavahana was the blessed by the parasol of varuna he was blessed by the heavenly person see a, it is a really blessing it was understood that it casts only on the sovereign of the whole world simply it will not come and stand uh, to anybody or next to anybody it will stand with the person who is really worth of it next we will see an expedition the king here the megavahana king was ambitious to conquer and what happened he imposed his law against the killing of living beings and next point we move on to the cry what cry the king heard see the cry from a far hood by the shore so this were the main points we came across as we read the lesson let's comprehend the questions now see there what was the name of the beautiful princess of prajyotisha what was the name amrita prabha was the beautiful princess of prajyotisha we will want next question what was arranged for her when she attained the age of marriage what was arranged when she attained the age of marriage the swayamvara was arranged to enable her to choose her husband so she herself will choose her her own, her own husband we will move on to next question who was megavahana megavahana was the great grandson of a former king of kashmir next question why did the priest cry out in surprise so he cried out in surprise why the parasol of varuna had cast its shadow over the prince so the priest cried out in surprise what was the uniqueness of the parasol so the uniqueness difference the uniqueness of the parasol was to cast its shadow none other than on sovereign of the whole world so the speciality of the parasol next question why did kashmir's ministers of court make an offer to megavahana to be their king the kashmir's ministers were dissatisfied with the present ruler did you understand okay next we'll move on to next one why did megavahana want to conquer the island of lanka why did they want to conquer so the reason behind that is lanka was the land of demons and need to taught the ways of the peace so in that island so because of that they wanted to conquer lanka next children complete this statements see you have the textbook with you is it not so you have to check where the statements are and you have to complete that see the first statement i must use this time to plan a way complete the statements check your textbooks okay we'll look for the answer 
to conquer the island of Lanka. Okay, did you find the answer there in the textbook? Next, see, this is the parasol of Varuna. Check the statement in your textbooks. Okay, now we look for the answer. The Lord of Seas. Who was Varuna? The Lord of Seas. Now, you have done a great job. Good. Now, we will move on to the comprehend question. It will be in 150 to 200 words. Okay. Now, we will uh, see the question. Describe the incident of how Megavahana got the heavenly parasol. So, we are going to discuss that. Amrita Prabha was the most beautiful princess of Prajyotisha. The king arranged a swayamvara to enable her to choose her husband. Megavahana, the great grandson of a former king of Kashmir was also present. Now, what happened next? Amrita Prabha chose him as a groom. Then the couple moved forward to seek the king's blessings. When the king stepped down to bless, the priest cried out proclaiming that the Varuna, the lord of seas, had cast its shadow over the friends. That was indeed a symbol of favored by gods. Now, when Megavahana looked up, he saw a beautiful dazzling white parasol with exquisite decorations casting shadow over him. The king explained about the parasol. The uniqueness of the parasol was that it cast its shadow none other than but a sovereign of the world world, Megavahana destined for the glory and brilliance. So, this is what the answer was. Yes, children, now we are moving on to the extracts. Okay, you need to understand who said and to whom was it said. Now see, it cast its shadow on none else but a sovereign of the world world. Okay, first question is who said this? Who said this? The king said this. Okay, the king said this. Now, who was it said to? It was said to Megavahana. Next, when was it said? When he saw a beautiful dazzling white parasol with exquisite decorations that was casting its shadow over him. Yes, I hope you understood the lesson part. Now, now we are moving on to the activities. You have to guess the specialist. See there, the first question is, can you guess who is that person? Okay, here is the statement. Priya cannot see the letters on the board. She has to consult or she has to see and dash. Whom she has to see? She has to see a ophthalmologist. Okay, one who check your eyesight. Next, we are moving on to another one. See the boy there. In the picture, the boy has fallen. Okay, see the statement. Kiran fell from the cycle and his bone got hurt. He immediately consulted an dash. Whom he consulted? See the answer. He consulted an orthopedician. We are moving on to next one. See the picture. The person. Who is that? Can you guess? Who is that person? Yes. See here is a statement. My grandfather had a pain in the chest. We took him to a where? Cardiologist. Yes, exactly. Your answers are right. Now, children, you have an activity there having other examples. Please sit and refer to dictionary and work out and please find the answers. Okay. Now, we are moving on to homophones. Homophones, you know, I suppose. But even then, we will come to the statement part. See there, you can see the library, is it not? The library. You are not allowed to read aloud in the library. See, I have marked two words there in red color. 
see a l l o w e d and a l o u d see both sounds the same okay both sounds the same but what is the difference see now word that pronounce the same like allowed i told you and allowed both pronounced as same and differs in meaning one allowed means to give permission and second one allowed is not silently or maybe audibly and now it differs in spelling so both the words spelled differently so what are these called these are called homophones okay these are homophones now we go to examples of homophones arjun used dash formula to solve the dash so there are two words both sounds the same some some now you have to choose the correct answer see under the statement we should dash how to say dash without hurting others so both sounds are same word like no no but you have to choose the correct spelt word and having correct meaning now look for the answers now see first one is arjun used sum yes to am is sum formula to solve the sum s u m sum so second one we should no k n o w no how to say no n o no without hurting others and now children we are coming to the listening section now see here are some sounds you please listen to this and let me uh, tell you the difference in uh, using th these sounds while using now see you can see the words here effect effect see there are two types of languages we have been using in our english like britain and american so first word what i am telling you is e f f e c t this word is used effect and effect it can be used effect and it can be used as effect and you can listen to all the other sounds now okay effect effect affect expect accept 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 prize prize his is higher hair hair air you understood all the sounds is it not what you have to do you have to sit at home and practice these sounds okay next we are coming to the end of our session what is that home assignment yes there are questions choose any one personality from the speaking activity 5 of the page number 8 and write how they became different by living as an example in life so you have to narrate them in your own sentences now we are moving on to second question collect the synonyms of the new words which you have learned today what was the megawahana's ambition fourth question write the phonic transcription for the new words now children we are coming in to the last part of this section hope you all understood this lesson and please sit at home work out and don't be panic that you have not gone to classes here we enrich you with the lessons and thank you for listening to me 